Good morning. So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Uh, today is day 17 of a line. Um, yeah, we're moving steadily through January. And that's the best way to move through January. Just keep moving. Um, I've been talking to a few of you and that inertia, that heaviness, that lack of move or momentum that happens in January. You're turning up, you're doing this, you're climbing steadily out with the ladder of this yoga and um, yeah, well done. And then to those of you who don't find January hard, then super great. Um, each of us have different things that challenge us, different ways that we are in our bodies, different things that, that meet us. Um, and so, yeah, um, this will help all of that, I believe. For me, it helps all of it. Uh, just turning up and being here and just turning up and listening to myself daily um it does something uh so come lie on your back and we shall begin come come so knees are bent and feet are flat on the floor and just settling your shoulders in and letting your spine lengthen i love tucking my chin in to give it some length Nice. And then arch your lower back and flatten your lower back down. So the pelvic tilt. Arch your lower back. And flatten your lower back down. Arching. Flattening down. One more time. Arching. Flattening down. Begin to sway your knees from side to side as you sway your knees from one side to the other. Just feel how that is in the pelvis, in your hips, in your belly, in how your legs connect to your pelvis, how your spine connects to your pelvis. Um, yesterday, I noticed that there was light in the sky at eight o'clock yesterday morning. Oh, so glorious. It's just such an exciting time of year where suddenly you're noticing when there's light earlier and earlier in the morning and later and later in the evening come back to center squeeze your right knee in towards you hug it in and then keep holding on to it with just one hand and draw your right knee out to the side with your right hand on your knee and bring it back to center right knee out to the side center right knee out to the side and center nice other side squeeze the left knee towards you Hug it in, have a sense of really deepening and settling in with your leg. Let your belly soften, let your hip deepen. Nice, left hand, left knee, open your knee out to the side. And bring it back in. Side, and bring it back in. One more time. Side, and bring it back in. Nice, so draw your right knee up towards you. Draw your right knee out to the side and then lift your left foot off the floor. So you can keep your knee bent with your foot floating just above the floor or you can lengthen your left leg long. Bring your right knee back to center. Bring it out to the side. So again, remember that your left leg, you can keep it slightly bent. You can have it very bent. You can keep your left foot on the floor. Find your way of doing this. Right knee travels out, right knee travels back. Right knee out and then pause, right knee is out, left leg is at a level that feels comfortable and then sink deeply into the floor with your shoulders, with your lower back and stretch deeply down into the left heel. Nice, come back to center. Bring your left foot to the floor, stretch your right leg long, hold on to your right leg somewhere down along the right leg, bring your right leg out to the side and bring it back up to center. Your leg is now straight. Right leg out to the side and bring it back to center. So lift your left foot a little bit off the floor, maybe stretch your left leg long and then bring your right leg out to the side. So both legs are maybe straight or both legs are, one leg is bent and the right leg is straight. So the right leg is straightening out to the side. 
you can hold on to it so that you have more weight into the leg or you can hold on to it so you're lifting it up and taking the weight out of the leg. Decide which is more important, supporting it or deepening it. And just settle deeply down into your rib cage, into the deep of your belly. Nice, bend both knees, squeeze both knees towards you, hug them in, pause there. Nice, bring your right foot to the floor, stretch your left leg long. Bring your left leg out to the side. Bring it back up to center. Right foot is on the floor. Perhaps it stays there the whole time. Left leg out to the side. Bring it back to center. And again, left leg out to the side. Bring it back to center. Perhaps leave your right foot where it is. Perhaps let it float. Perhaps let it lengthen. Bring the left leg out to the side. So decide your distance or your intensity. For me, I'm deepening because I know my inner thighs are strong and long and I can hang out of my inner thighs. Whereas maybe you're supporting your leg to be a little bit higher with your arm. See what's right. Adjust, adapt, create, learn. Nice, squeeze both knees towards you. And stretch both legs up towards the ceiling and widen both feet out. Straighten your legs. Bend both knees, squeeze them towards you. Straighten both legs and widen. Bend your knees, squeeze your knees towards you. Straighten, widen. One more time. Bend your knees, pull them up towards you. Straighten, widen. Nice. Bring both feet to the floor, pause. Let that settle. Feel your shoulders, the back of your neck, the resting of your pelvis, your inner thighs, the deep hips, the buttocks, the whole of your legs. How is that? Nice, rolling over onto your side and come into your cat, uh, cat pose, all the way over. So from here, hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips, rounding your back, arching your back, rounding your back, arching your back. Yesterday we were doing snaky spine. Let's go do snaky spine again. So round your back, draw your nose back towards your knees, glide low to the floor, all the way forward. Round your back, sit your bum back. Glide forward, round your back, sit your bum back, glide forward, nice. Sit your bum all the way back into a child's pose and then walk your hands over towards the right side. You can bend your right hand so it's just beside your right knee or you can have both arms long and over towards the right. See which one supports you better. I think I like my elbow bent and holding onto the floor just beside my knee. And just deepen your breath. Oh, Poppy. <laughs> Poppy, get out of here. Go over there. And so what you do that for? <laughs> oh, sorry. So keep lengthening it the side of your body. <laughs> oh, God. Lengthening into the side of your body. Keep breathing into it. <laughs> oh god and then both hands forward and then come to the other side walk both hands over towards the left and then maybe bend the left knee no left elbow right hand is long and you're really lengthening into the right side of your rib cage breathing into it settling into it Nice, both hands forward, both hands under your shoulders. So from here, you can push back into your downward dog or you can stay in your cat pose. I know some of you don't like the downward dog, so find your distance. So coming into the downward dog or staying in your cat pose, widen your shoulders, draw your shoulders away from your ears. If you're in cat pose, then connect into your legs. Just feel that you're 
meeting all of you right now. And then draw your right knee forward towards your right elbow and stretch your right leg up and back behind you. Right knee bends, bring it towards your elbow. Stretch your right leg up and back behind you. Right knee, elbow, up and back behind you. One more time. Right knee, elbow, up and back behind you. Keep your leg up and back behind you. Draw a circle with the whole of your leg. Notice how you keep both sides of your rib cage long. And then circle in the other direction. How do you connect into both arms, both sides of your ribs? How do you steady your pelvis as you roll the leg? Nice. Sweep your right foot so that you step to the outside of your right hand. Drop your left knee to the floor. Lengthening out through the right leg. Bend your knee. Lengthen out through the right leg. Mm, bend your knee and you're meeting that which is in the deep of your hip with wellness, with kindness. Next time you bend your knee, pause there, lean into your hips. Breathing down into your belly. Find your feet, connect your legs, widen your pelvis, rise through your spine, arms are strong, neck is lengthening. Nice, lengthen out through the front leg, sit your bum back, leg is long. Nice. Bend your front knee, lengthen your back leg, and then hop your back foot so it's at a 45 degree angle. Bring your right elbow to your right knee and bring your left hand to your left hip and turn your chest towards the left. Bend your front knee more and lengthen into the back leg. Turn towards the floor, bring your left fist down, pull your left elbow up towards the ceiling, reach up long and strong through that left arm. Bend your front knee more. Drop your fist down, rising up. Keep your front knee really bent so that you have to acknowledge it as you move. Front knee is deeply bent, legs are really solid. And as you move your torso, you're managing the interaction between the movement of your body and the stability of your legs. One more time. Nice, reverse, lower your left hand down. Rise up with the right hand, lengthen deeply through the right arm, breath is in your belly, create more and more length through the right side. Breathing into it, deepening. Nice. Straighten your front leg, turn both toes towards the left side of your mat. From here, turn both toes in the direction of the right, Bring the right elbow down, touch the floor. Turn both toes in the direction of the left. And bring your hand down, touch the floor. Touch. Every time you touch, can you touch a little bit further away from you? You can stay low. So we begin to travel into water washers. How far can you touch? Notice the touching point towards the right. Touching point towards the left. The right. The left. Next time you go right, toes are really turned towards the right. Reach your left hand forward and balance. My right elbow is on my right knee. My left hand is either touching the floor deeply or just hovering above the floor. So find your principles. Connect into your legs. Widen your pelvis, your feet are active, mm, spine is lengthening, arms are connected, neck is lengthening. Nice. Both feet to the floor, heel toe, heel toe, your feet towards each other. Come into a forward fold, rest your belly on your thighs, bend your elbows, fold forward.
bend your knees more. Really sit your bum down deeply. You're not sitting like so low that your bum is lower than your knees, but really fold more and more like you're trying to sink your elbows a bit deeper towards the floor. Nice, rolling up. Reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, reaching up, looking up. Palms come to rest to the front of your chest. Nice, so roll down. Be at the front of your mat, hands are on the floor. And then step back with both feet to come into your downward dog. As you lengthen back, if you don't do downward dog, then come into a long cat. Long cat is where you're sitting your bum back and lengthening, like so. Just find your breath. Nice. And then sweep the left knee towards the left elbow. Stretch the left foot up and back behind you. Left knee, left elbow. Sweep it up and back. Left knee, left elbow. Sweep it up and back. And again, left knee, left elbow. Sweep it up and back. Pause there with your leg back behind you. Draw a big circle with your left leg, stabilizing through the sides of your body, the deep of your belly, your shoulders, and then roll in the other direction. Nice. Sweep the left foot forward to the outside of your left hand. Drop your right knee to the floor, begin to travel. Bending your knee, straightening your leg. Bending your knee, straightening your leg. Next time you bend your knee, pause there. So find your legs, connect into them. Feet are strong. Widen your pelvis, lengthen through your spine. Find your arms and your neck is strong and long. Lean a bit more into your hips. Nice, sit your bum back, pausing there. Again, feet, legs, pelvis, spine, shoulders, arms and neck. Great, rock forward. L lift your left knee off, or right knee off the floor. Bring your left elbow to your left thigh. Bring your right hand to your right hip, pause there. Bend your front knee more as you connect into the baby toe side of your right foot. Cool, bring your right fist down to the floor. Bend your front knee more. And keep that front knee deeply bent as you pull your elbow up towards the ceiling and reach. And then bring your fist to the floor. And just feel that through the deep of your pelvis, the strength of your legs the rise and the twist of the torso. Nice, next time you reach, pause. Front knee is deeply bent, you're looking up towards the ceiling. Nice, bring your head to neutral, reverse, ring. reach the left hand up towards the ceiling and settle in for a moment. Nice. Straighten both legs, turn your toes towards the right side of your mat, water whooshing. Reach, reach, and come into your toes as much as you can as you reach, and begin to reach towards the wall as far away as you can. So it's like I'm trying to touch the doorknob either side of me or the light switch. Next time you go left, pause, and maybe lift your Back foot off the floor in the reaching. Nice, change. Reach your right foot off the floor in the reaching. Oop. Maybe keep your toe low. Find the wobbly way of doing this. Next time is the official side. So we did that kind of not so official. So turn your left foot deeply towards the left. Reach your right hand down towards the floor and then float your back foot off the floor. Either have your foot, your hand solid on the floor or have just your hand floating just above. Connect into your feet. Uh, connect your legs, pelvis, spine, arms, neck, the whole of your body. Super cool, bring both feet together. Grab your block, come sit on the floor. 
Lift your bum up and place your block under your bum. Let your legs be long and up towards the ceiling. Just pause there. Let your legs soften, let your breath deepen. Let it all settle. Nice. So stay there while I turn off the music. Um, so thanks for joining me. <laughs> Always such a pleasure. And um, yeah, nice, that lovely. Great. Um, as always, it's 10 euros for the month. And so, um, yeah, your contribution, your inclusion, your, yeah, member of this tribe, half lab. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow for another wonderful day. Wonderful, wonderful of a line. Yeah, and um, the next month, February is emerging. The only problem is, I don't know if I can spell that word very well. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna. So I think for the month, I'm gonna struggle with the spelling for the next month. So see if you can guess what it is. Text me if you think you know what it is. Um, that's such a vague, <laughs> any big word actually I can't spell, so that's no problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'll see you all tomorrow and uh, be well. And remember, we're moving steadily and progressively and continuously through January. Um, be well. Ciao.